Hello guys, in this video I will tell you how to use ECG and BP function on your new Galaxy Watch. As we know, ECG and BP functions are not available in every country. As well as, these functions are not available for non-Samsung phones. But don't worry guys, there is a way. Yes, in this video I will tell you how to use these functions in non-supported countries as well as on non-Samsung phones. First, from the Play Store you have to download Gemini Man app on your smartphone. Just download and install it. And after that, you have to download two APK files on your smartphone. One APK file for your smartphone and the second one is for smartwatch. To run ECG and BP function on your smartwatch, you need Samsung Health Monitor app. And these APK files will install Samsung Health Monitor app on your smartphone as well as on your smartwatch. So download them. But don't worry, to make it easy, I will give a link in the description box. Just download APK file for SHM mode and after that, you have to open it. In the SHM mode app, you have to download two APK files. One for smartphone and the second for Wear OS watch. Just ignore APK for Tizen OS and download the remaining two. After downloading, install APK file for smartphone. Now to install APK file for smartwatch, you have to open Gemini Man app. But before that, on your smartwatch, you have to make some changes. On your smartwatch, go to Bluetooth and turn it off. For now, just turn it off. And now go to Wi-Fi and make sure Wi-Fi is on and connected to the same internet connection which you are using on your smartphone. Now after that in the setting just slide down and go to about watch. In about watch now click on software information. In a software information you have to click multiple times on software version. And when you do that then you will enable developer modes on your smartwatch. Now go to the back screen and here below about watch you will see developer mode option. Just open it. In the developer options now scroll down and click on wireless debugging. You have to enable this option. Just enable the toggle and it will ask you to allow permission. Give it a permission and enable wireless debugging. Here in a wireless debugging now click on pair new device. Just scroll down and tap on pair new device and after that open Gemini Man app on your smartphone. In the app, now tap on Wear OS Manager and here you will see wireless debugging. Now just click on wireless debugging. Here you have to enter IP address of your smartwatch as well as IP port and pairing code that you can see on a smartwatch. Just type it correctly and after that click on pair the device. Now again on this screen you have to enter ADB connection details and you have to enter the last 5 digits of your IP address. Just enter 5 numbers and after that click on connect. Now here you can see your watch is connecting with your smartphone and after that you can proceed. Now it will detect APK files on your smartphone that you can install on your smartwatch. For that you have to click on install APK files and after that it will search for APK files on your smartphone. Just open APK files on your smartphone and choose the right APK file that you have to install on your smartwatch. That means the SHM mode for Wear OS that you have to install on your smartwatch. And after that it will install this APK file on your smartwatch. Just let it continue and after that it will show you the app. Once you install the app, after that you can see the SHM mode has been installed on your smartwatch. Now open the newly added SHM app on your smartwatch and after that it will redirect you to your smartphone. Now on a smartphone you have to accept some terms and fill up the details and also create profile and after that you will be ready to use both ECG and BP on your smartwatch. Just fill the details one by one and after that come back to smartwatch. On a smartwatch now open the app and click on any measurement like ECG and tap like here, I will measure my ECG. For that, just wear the watch, click on ECG and put your finger on power button or home button and wait for 30 seconds. In a 30 seconds, it will give you final result. Just note that based on these results, don't change your medicine or don't take any medicine. Before that, you have to consult your doctors. Here you can see my results. 
for your SHM history, you have to open SHM app on your smartphone and go to history section. Here you will see all your history. Thanks for watching my video guys. If you like the content in this video, then please hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.